A Rare Earths Minerals company plans to invest nearly half a billion dollars in a project near Wheatland. Wyoming ranchers convoy hay and other supplies to Fire Ravage, Texas. And the town of Hudson rallies around a family who lost everything in a devastating house fire. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. The mining company American Rare Earths said Sunday that its Rare Earth Minerals project near Wheatland could need $456 million to begin mine development and production. But that's money that still needs to be raised by the tiny company valued at about one-fifth the initial project's size, according to Cowboy State Daily's Pat Mayo. They disclosed to me that they're looking like they're going to have to spend nearly a half a billion dollars to develop their mine site, which is the first time they've taken their wraps off of how much money they're going to put into it. Yeah, they're going to have to raise the money, which they have more than enough backing to do. So that'll happen over the next few years. The company is still going through state permitting to begin mining and build a processing operation on the Wheatland land, which is perhaps a few years away. A convoy of six trucks loaded with hay and other items donated by ranchers in Hawk Springs, Torrington, and Chugwater are running to and from Texas to help ranchers there burned out by a 1.1 million acre wildfire. Business reporter Renee Jean says with a simple Facebook post, Hawk Springs resident Dottie Packard mobilized other Wyomingites to send hay, feed, and other supplies from the Cowboy State to their counterparts in the Lone Star State. Dottie was telling me Wyoming has wildfires too. We just had that Forest Creek fire in Cheyenne that forced an evacuation. So Texas might be pretty far away, but they are our neighbors in that sense. Through donations, enough money has been raised for drivers like the Packards and other volunteers to make more than one trip to Texas to help out their fellow ranchers. A new report from the Wyoming Economic Analysis Division shows Sublette and Crook counties are the fastest growing counties in the state, while Carbon and Platt counties saw the largest decreases. Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson said the report shows 17 of Wyoming's 23 counties experienced population increases from July 2022 to July 2023. Wenlin Liu, who's the head economist for the state of Wyoming, said that uh, this can be kind of attributed mostly to a 2,338 person gain in migration into the state, as well as a slightly higher birth rate over death rate as well. Since 2008, Wyoming has experienced a declining natural growth rate that's only worsened since the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll be back with more news right after this. Do you know it's illegal to dig or excavate without knowing what's below? This is Jan Warren, Executive Director for One Call of Wyoming. We will be hosting workshops around the state to educate homeowners, realtors, landscapers, underground facility owners, and excavators on the state law, industry best practices when it comes to planting a tree, building a fence, or any other excavation project you have planned. Join us for a free breakfast, get your questions answered, and learn how One Call of Wyoming is here to help. Go to onecallofwyoming.com and register today. It took nine fire trucks, four fire crews, and nearly 50 firefighters to stop the blaze that took everything from the Watts family in Hudson in January. But Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland reports the fire did not take their friends and the strangers who have rallied to help Dusty and Kayla Watts and their children after the loss. They've been living in a tiny man camp trailer with their four kids and still keeping up with wrestling and basketball practices and sports and still doing the small town family thing and surprised by thousands of dollars in donations and hand-me-down clothes and just the support of the community around them. Kayla said, we are never leaving Hudson. Kayla said all the generosity they've experienced in their calamity has tied the Watts family to their home community for good. And like a lot of Wyoming small towns, Mountain View lives and dies by its basketball team during the long, cold winters. The structure they call the Dome is where the Buffaloes roam, and it's unlike any other arena in Wyoming, according to Cowboy State Daily's Jake Nichols. Well, an old rule in journalism is that you let a story tell itself. The original idea was to find out more about the who, how, and why their dome sports arena came into being. Its intricate woodworking making the ceiling look more like a cathedral than a gym. We found those answers, but in pursuit of a silver lining, we struck gold. We found the real gem, a story about a community that has rallied around its quirky old gymnasium since it was built in 1982, and they've been rooting for its cherished high school basketball team since the 1920s. It's a Wyoming version of Hoosiers. You can read Jake's story along with the other articles by the talented staff of reporters at Cowboy State Daily by logging on to CowboyStateDaily.com. And you can get your own free digital subscription to our daily newsletter while you're there. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.